Welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at strumming with the right hand and learn a few techniques that will help us out with this style of playing. So the first one we're going to look at is described in lesson 10 in the book. It's just to take your, the fingernails of your right hand and gently strum down on the guitar strings like this. And um, if we make an E chord, which we'll be learning a little later in the book, it will sound like this. Now you can open your hand up like that a little bit to help with the sound. And you want to, with all of this kind of strumming technique, you're going to want to keep a loose wrist and a loose hand. Not so loose that it's just flopping around, but not tight. So it, um, keeping a relatively loose hand and wrist will help you with your rhythm and the overall tone for your strumming. Also, um, you might think of it as the same amount of energy in your hand that you'd have if you were throwing a frisbee. So let's try that. So we're, once more, we're going to strum downward and strike the strings with the, some part of the, the fingernail of your right hand. It could be your index, middle, and ring finger, something like that. You could just use the index finger, or you could use the index and middle finger, whatever is most comfortable for you. So just try it. And now, Coupled with that, you can try strumming a little louder or a little softer. So louder, you would just use a little more energy, not so much strength and power, but just a little faster uh, with a little more strength, but you're not going to want to pound the guitar. Just, just strike the strings a little faster like this. And then um, if you go softer, you might just use a little less energy and also ha um, j touch the strings with a smaller surface area on the nails. So, And another thing you can do is just gently open your hand like that. As a side note, one thing you can try with your strumming, whether it's with a pick or with your fingers, is to move your hand your right hand to different positions on the neck and you'll hear a difference in the sound. So for instance, if I strum the chord over the sound hole, it will have sort of a balanced sound like this. If I strum it way up towards the neck, it'll have a smoother sound. If I strum it way back at the bridge, it'll have a kind of metallic, almost nasal sound. The next technique described in the book is to strum using the thumb, index, and middle finger kind of together, and you'll strum with the sort of the, this part, the tip, just above the pads, between the fingernail and the pads of the finger. You just want to, whatever is comfortable for your hands, you'll want to form your fingers into this shape, and then just strike the strings somewhere with this sort of fingertip area. It really depends on each person's hand shape, so there's not one right or wrong answer, just what's most comfortable for you. But in general, you wanna, you wanna strike the string somewhere in this area, and it will sound like this. Now you can also just use your thumb and index finger and strum somewhere on the tip here or here. And it will sound like this. It almost looks as if I'm holding a guitar pick and I use this technique a lot when I'm not using um, my uh, guitar pick. If I'm just strumming with fingers, sometimes I'll put these fingers together and strum that way. So try this out 
on your own now and there's uh, a, a huge range of possibilities for this kind of strumming technique so just have fun and explore the various sounds and see you next time